Hey guys, Quicksilver Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Ultimate General American Revolution. This is episode 11 of our Let's Play. If you missed episode 1, I'll put a link in the top right hand corner to that episode. But we are starting off this episode as we have started off a few times with a little bit of a twist. Looks like we have gained a Brig USS Coquit, so we'll probably be selling that. But more importantly, over here, the British are attacking Portsmouth again. They really, really love to attack Portsmouth. You can see here the date is February 24th, 1776. Not entirely sure. I, I did a lot of stuff off camera that was, to me, what I would consider quite, quite boring. Um, so I, I try to save you guys from the super boring stuff. I figure you guys like combat, so we'll do the combat and then we will uh, let, let's see how this goes here. I don't want my guys coming on as reinforcements. So we'll wait a little bit longer. I actually just want to, I, I don't want to take on three regiments at once. So let's take this battle before they get in. Because we are at an officer deficit and a lot of that is because of our Navy and because of these repeated attacks in Portsmouth. It's actually draining our officer pool quite a bit. So this should be a much easier battle than if a third regiment comes into play, even though I feel like we can do this one. Um, oh, I never noticed that symbol before. I knew of the flashing flashing light meant that it's uh, most likely that they'll retreat, but let's take this battle. All right, our cannons were already grouped up, which is kind of nice, but I do want to spread them out just a little bit so that we have um, better firing lanes on the British. And then for some reason, General Quicksilver is always way far away. I understand he's a little bit out there on the campaign map, but this is one of those um, kind of examples of where something better when it comes to the deployment of forces on the map is definitely needed because um, your general you kind of always have a little bit far out but overall he is commanding the army and it's really hard to get him close without the enemy taking pot shots at him so I'm not really sure what the solution is I I've said I would like a deployment zone I know I feel like the deployment zone is pretty popular but I know there are people that do not like the idea of a deployment zone. I I personally would prefer a deployment zone. I, I think I, I edit out the very beginning of the battle where I spend a few minutes doing all of the deployment. So to me, it's like, why not just cut the crap out and, uh, you know, give us give us a deployment zone. I, I think that would solve solve some issues, but that's all right. Let's put you guys on hold. And then probably you guys on hold over here. And I think you guys will also go on hold. We'll put you out over here. And then... Uh, can you guys combine your different colored jackets? But, you know, that doesn't mean you can't combine, right? Would love if you guys combined. And then I'll send you out on that blank over here. I uh, do need you guys moving up just a little, and then you guys getting behind that artillery, and then you guys will get behind this artillery. And over here, I think we could... not really liking that flank over there. If we can crush these flanks, that'll be great. Um, firing canister rounds into the enemy always helps. And then if we can continue to push up with these men over here, and then over here, uh, they are continuing to make their their line a little bit heavier. Uh, actually impressed, they are kind of creating a line. That's a little blob right there. But over here, oh man, another lieutenant wounded. This is not what I want. I cannot really afford all of these officer casualties. They are really, really racking up. Um, we... We have schools being built everywhere too, which is crazy. But it's just, uh, we, we are really feeling, we are really feeling the pain when it comes to, comes to officer losses. So I'm going to push you guys up and then I'm going to push this artillery forward and push this artillery forward and really try to, try to get this under control. And then you guys will shift up also. Oh man, we have some some guys that are actually retreating. Let's move Quicksilver over here. We need to form up on our artillery. That is fairly important. And then I would actually like this artillery 
to shift up, and then you guys can shift up also, and then move you guys up like so. So we're just, we are being a little bit more aggressive than normal, and that's because I would really like to crush the British. I feel like they have been an absolute nuisance to us over winter, and I, I really would like to completely obliterate them. So the only way to actually get them to surrender is to surround them. We probably won't be able to do that though, just how the British are backing off. But you know, the the more we can do it, the or the the closer we can get to them the more likely we are to to get them to surrender that is so that is our plan and actually i think this artillery piece probably needs to go where those guys are going and then over here you guys can sit behind like so and over here okay we secured the farm so that's cool i guess that artillery piece is really angling back so that's Let's pull our men back a little. I thought that was an artillery piece over there. Are those grenadiers? Those look like grenadiers. I didn't really look before the battle. It looks like the British actually have some grenadiers. Kind of cool to see that. All right. We might go and attack over there. Let's see if we can do that. Let's put you guys, pull you guys back just a tad. Pull you guys forward just a tad. Where is their artillery? Looks like they've got mortars again. And then these guys need to charge and then you need to target somebody else. That is the plan. And then, okay, victory over there. So we, we need to try and capture their artillery if possible. I don't think we'll be able to capture their infantry, unfortunately. That's just kind of how it goes. No, 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 no friendly fire, please. We do not like friendly fire. And then, as I said, just need to capture something. I think we could capture those guys too. That would be great. Um, the more we capture on the battlefield, the more likely the enemy is to actually surrender on the strategic map. Of course, those guys aren't cooperating. Okay, we did capture one of their artillery groups, so that's good, but the other one did get away. Um, not great on the casualty front, 268, and we did lose some officers. I, I really need to get better at taking fewer losses. Not really sure what the best way to do that is. I, I've seen a lot of people on the Discord show some videos where they take almost no casualties, and I, I'm really curious at how they actually go about doing that. Um, but... We do need all of these guys to get out of here and then charge those guys and then Quicksilver, you can move up. Okay, can you guys, doesn't look like we're going to manage to get a surrender. So that's unfortunate. So we'll just capture these supplies and move these guys back into Portsmouth. This ship here, we are going to immediately sell. I don't want it. Uh, well, we'll put it in storage. I, I don't need to sell it quite yet. One thing to know, having a lot of money is not necessarily a good thing. If you, if your money is too high, then there is a possibility that, oh, that gave us five officers to disbanding that ship. That's perfect. By having too much money, the Congress will give you like political actions and whatnot. And they're like, give us 6,000 gold or the, the loyalty goes down. And you're like... <laughs> Okay, uh, so one of those features, this has been mentioned on the Discord a few times, sometimes this game feels like it punishes you for doing well, which can be a good thing, obviously, um, the, the higher difficulty you get and the more experience, experience you are as a player, you don't necessarily want the enemy to just roll over and die, you do like some something of a challenge, okay, there we go, our officers are... Looks like our officer pool is getting larger and larger, which is perfect. Some some of the features they have to gate you from from winning too hard seem a little obnoxious to me. Um, that that's just at least how I feel there. I am going to work on another factory, I think, uh, because we we do have forty materials, and I'm thinking that it will go in Rhode Island over here. I think that's a good spot for it. 
So let's put a put a factory there. The more factories we get, the more things we can produce. That's just the the easy of it. I am building blacksmith shops, which I believe build factories, uh, but I'm not entirely sure. Moore's Creek Bridge. Revolutionaries drive the loyalists, loyalists from Moore's Creek Bridge, North Carolina. The victory of the North Carolina Provisional Provisional Militia force marked the decisive turning point of the revolution in North Carolina. I read that terribly, and I don't think it's worded correctly well. Uh, I have mentioned this before. Localization is one of the very last things you do in a game, so don't expect localization to be amazing right now. Also, I didn't show this because it just gets tedious showing the same battles over and over again, but I did capture a 44 gun ship when I was, you know, fast forwarding through some of winter. Uh, so we have a 78, a 48, 48, 44, 20, and a 30. I like that fleet. I don't want my fleet too big. We do have some ships in storage, if I recall. USS Providence, for some reason, will give me 42,000. I believe this is the starter ship. The starter ships seem to be a little bugged in that they are worth buku money, which is pretty crazy. But we're going to send our fleet out and try to destroy whatever that ship is out there. It looks like it's 40 gun ship. Well, by destroy, I actually mean capture it because I would like more 40 gun ships. If we can get rid of the 30 and 28 gun ship, that would be perfect. Just have a bunch of 40s, 48s, 44s, and of course our pride. USS Quicksilver, named after the best general of the American Revolution, Quicksilver. Okay, so what are those ships coming down this way? You can see there is a fleet moving down. Hopefully it is not a Super Death Star fleet, because that would be pretty awful. It looks like it's two separate fleets. I would really like to, to grind some rep too, or capture more ships. Either way, um, but rep grinding would be probably the best. Let's, let's have you search for enemies because it looks like they entered our waters. A 40 gun ship. Okay, I would like to capture this. It's a fifth rate Diana class. That's much better than our 30 gun ship and our 28 gun ship. So let's dive right in into a no another naval engagement. Okay, on the map as usual, it, it feels like we need a deployment zone. Um, they always just set our ships up. I, I feel like this has to be one of the biggest priorities for this game is army management and how armies, fleets, ships... Why is this ship not moving? It has the wind behind it. That's a little crazy. Okay, you need to cut off this ship because I don't know where it's going. Getting very strong hits against the third rate, which is Pretty crazy if you ask me. That shells should really just bounce off of a third rate. I would like to see some sort of balance in that regard. In that a third rate should almost be indestructible to really, really small caliber guns. Although this might actually have large guns. Alright, we are come on, that should be that should be grapple range, right? Yes, grappled. Lock on, and that ship should be dead. Um, as soon as, as soon as we start boarding, which should happen immediately. Come on, board. We are firing grape shot. Just so you guys are aware. Why aren't we boarding? Why are we not boarding? Come on. We're we're just going to take all this damage because we don't want to board. What's going on? I do not understand why we are not boarding. You're you're grappled, so board. All right, that was incredibly frustrating. It uh did not want to board, so unfortunately, USS Quicksilver has sustained quite a lot of damage because it took a really long time. For us to board that ship. And I'm, uh, to say I'm a little annoyed by that would be an understatement. Let's put you over there. And then we have taken HMS Havana. So yeah, you can see um decent amount of damage there. Do not do not appreciate that whatsoever. So back to global map. 
back on the sea map i do think there is another fleet over here there it is three three ship fleet we'll go and sink that we don't need to go back to port yet even though hms havana will have a little less less crew than we would like over here nothing too too crazy come on hunt down this three there we go what is this 2830 all right we're just going to let auto resolve take care of this and we're going to farm some some rep right there so we're at 37 rep right now we'll see how see how high that goes over here looks like we have oh no something it said something was oh not enough resources for production was that what it was well it looks like we have enough resources now so we we, we shall ignore that we actually have extra officers, which is amazing. We need to continue building our schoolhouses. And what else are we building up? We're building blacksmith shop. We, our economy, to me, is basically as good as it's going to get. So we went from 37 to 43. They're down to two ships. We've taken barely any damage, which is perfect. Up to 44. So this is what I'm talking about, rep grinding. Oh boy, okay more reputation changes more more things i don't necessarily care about and then there we go 48 uh 48 reputation wow there are a lot of british ships in these waters by the looks of it so we're just going to try and crush all of them i i think that is uh one of them's going down to new haven where did all of these british ships come from so 20 and a 40 we could capture another 40 gun ship and that would sort of replace all of our all of our little ships for the time being um yeah we could we could do it it's getting to the point and then we could sell like uh whatever this is broderick hms b-r-o-e-d something and then hms lynette i i mean getting a 40 gun diana class would be pretty good Okay, on the battlefield, hopefully we can capture these ships sooner than later. I'm going to try to not use my third rate to capture the enemy ships because it's taking too much of a beating and it doesn't seem to board in a timely manner. I don't know if you guys have noticed that about third rates or not, but it's been um it's been pretty brutal in terms of trying to board. I wish you guys would be at full sail. Okay, that's not you're going to have to board that. That's going to have to be a thing. And then you are going to have to try and board that ship. That's probably how that's going to go. And then you just come up over here. So I guess you need to slow down. And then you should be grappling any moment now. Perfect. All right, you've grappled. In theory, that should be that ship done. I say in theory because I have just had a really bad run of luck where the enemy somehow escapes grapples. And it's it's pretty crazy, to be honest. So hopefully, hopefully you start boarding soon. Like now, now would be a great time to board, to be honest. Euler. Hewler. Come on. Oh, there it's boarding. Okay, thank goodness. All right, let's try. I don't know where that ship thinks it's going. And then, perfect. So, if we can just cut you off. Where, where do you think you are going? Are you planning on ramming over here i don't want to what are you doing okay come on come on come on come on and then turn a little and then you should be grappling perfect all right stop and then hopefully hopefully you will properly engage the ship and then you need to stop firing you need to stop firing and then you're probably good to stop firing and same with you oh, i thought i turned 
turn that on. Okay, so you can move some troops over. That'll be perfect. Hopefully. Why is broader chat... Um... Okay, there we go. It's boarding, boarding, speed things up. And then the enemy hopefully will surrender anytime. I would absolutely love that. Wait, why did it move... Oh, the, 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 the names are like in the wrong order over here. That's kind of weird to me. But there we go. We have another 40 gun ship added to the fleet and then another ship we can sell. So that'll be perfect. I kind of want to go back to port and fix up my ships. But at the same time, there's, there's a bunch of ships we need to, and by fix up, I mean crew wise, but what I really, I guess, want to do is destroy the rest of the British fleet over here. That would that would be really good. So I wish these reports would go away. I don't really... Actually, what is... It says it's not using the shipbuilding points. Why does it say we don't have... That's kind of odd. Fifth rate Diana. Wait, one is in storage? Fifth rate Diana. Oh, we built one. Oh. Okay. Let's um let's stop building this. Yeah. I didn't realize we already built one. That's absolutely crazy. Did not realize that. Okay. Wow, and we can sell it for thirty-five thousand, it costs us eleven thousand to build. I was going to add it to the fleet. Uh as opposed to as opposed to building it. I started building that a long time ago when we really only had 28 guns and 30 guns and maybe a single 48. And then we just started snowballing with our fleet. So uh, in, in hindsight, I would have not, not built it. All right, let's send this fleet out over here. I think that's a smart idea. We'll kill this one ship and then we'll come back, take out whatever's over here, go back to port, and then that'll be great. So winter for me, as you can see, is really about fleet stuff. So I, I might do a little bit of pausing. You guys don't need to see every single fleet battle I do in every rep grind. So we'll, we'll do a pause here and then we'll see if the British attack or if we can get out of winter. Okay, guys, it looks like we're about to have the 20th or 800th battle of Portsmouth. So we're going to move our forces into Portsmouth. I do have our fleet on seek and destroy missions out there. Come on, guys. Garrison up. Garrison up. And then you need to garrison up. And then I don't know why Quicksilver's not creating a battle here. Here we go. All right. So this time I was smart and put both regiments in, in Salem. So we have four regiments against their three. And really it's two and a half because one of their regiments doesn't have a cannon, and it's down to 400 men. I guess not really half, but no cannon to me is a half, whereas we have four, basically full regiments with six pounders, and we have our supply wagons. So let's go ahead and destroy these guys. I do want to point out... Um, uh, that's not what I wanted. This is what our fleet currently looks like. So we've got 78 gunship, 248s, so a 44, and four 40s uh we built one of the 40s and i did rename them so they're more american names so like uss carolina connecticut new hampshire new york massachusetts washington except for the indefatigable uh, I, I mispronounced that that was atrocious on my part you get to hear it uh because that's a real ship and i like the fact that we captured it and then of course our flagship uss quicksilver i will point out uh I did have to give up a 64 gun ship. Uh, there's, I don't know if it's a bug or whatever. My third rate refused to board it. There was one instance where I tried for 20 minutes uh, where our, our both our ships were sitting still. I'd pinned it in on the front and the rear with two other ships and my third rate just absolutely refused to board it. So I, I tried it five different times every single time my third rate and even my fourth rates refused to board the third rate so i just gave up and auto resolved and killed the 64 gunship so you can see we have a lot of reputation we have no officers because 
our navy is just eating up our officers but this fight this and then this episode will be over you guys are probably tired of the battle of portsmouth and so am i but hopefully soon winter will be over let's try and destroy as much of this as possible okay guys i have all my orders queued up i just wanted to show off an example of why the deployment screen or that the current deployment doesn't work. Um, these guys are all garrisoned in Portsmouth, and this is how it deployed them. So these guys are like diagonally across their unit. For some reason, this regiment is way out ahead of this regiment. This is what I'm talking about by the deployment doesn't currently work, and why my quick solution is give us a deployment zone, um, because, because of this stuff right here. So... But anyways, let's get the battle started. You can see I'm trying to move out. We're going to create sort of a line here. I don't know where the British are coming from. There they are over there. But we're we're creating a line here. And then we'll figure out where to go once, once our forces have kind of <laughs> deployed. Uh, hopefully our artillery can, can make it in time. The British really do like to charge forward. Uh, I did, I, I am very close to obtaining Dragoons, well, not very close, but I have a lot of reputation, and Dragoons are what I am working on next, so if you guys are curious, Dragoons are in the works, and I think that'll make some of these battles a lot easier in the future. Um, this wagon is actually supposed to go down this way, and you're supposed to be over here, and you're supposed to be over here. And then, I don't know, that seems like a terrible deployment of your cannons. And then feels like you have not deployed very well either. So let's, let's move you guys out just a smidge. And then move this artillery out just a smidge. And then this artillery. And then we'll start kind of, you know, like fish hooking our line and then hopefully that'll work. I don't know where the British are. It looks like there's some skirmishers out on that flank. I do need... I do need some guys over there. I just realized I don't have a lot of, a lot of men over there. These cannons kind of shooting across the line. Not exactly what I want. I would like them to fire more forward. So let's see if I can get them to reposition. Maybe, maybe a hold order will be needed soon let's try and push out some more guys on this flank and then over here let's see how do we want to do this i actually feel like maybe you guys can go like so you guys could go maybe maybe more in the center you guys could maybe go up over here and then i think this might uh start to work our cannons are still not exactly where i want them to be but that's i mean it's this is how it's going to have to be i guess all right so their skirmishers are really pushing out on that flank i feel like we're going to need another another regiment over there and then let's move you guys man an officer wounded already oh gosh we're just getting absolutely demolished officer wise between our navy and then it feels like we were having really bad luck in the uh, in in our battles too. Um, okay, so over here it feels like they're pushing a little harder than I would like. Okay, let's uh, maybe not not do that at the moment. And then you guys over here because I do know there are skirmishers over there. And then you guys need to push forward a little. You are just out of range. And then you guys need to push forward. And then once you're in range, I need you to, to start firing. Can you guys run into position? That would be fantastic if you guys could do that. And then I don't know where those skirmishers went. All right, let's go back on to hold orders over here. Get our artillery shooting over here perfect lots of routing over there i don't know there's some artillery on their end i don't know where those skirmishers went this is where dragoons would be really would do really well we are building up a large infrastructure to or a, a large amount of cavalry or horses the the horse resource so that is pretty good let's see if you guys can charge over there and you guys shoot kind of that way 
and see if we can start rolling this flank. Okay, you guys are not wanting to cooperate. So let's, let's pull you over here. Let's move that over here. Feeling pretty good on this flank. Over here, I feel like we're doing well. I don't know where their skirmishers went at all, which is rather... Uh, it's, it's not a good thing to not know where their skirmishers went. That is for sure. I feel like we could... I feel like we could start moving this line up a little. Okay, the enemy just routed. So how can we... How can we do this? I need... I need you guys to move up. I would like you to s probably stop firing. All of the artillery probably needs to stop firing. And then we need... We need guys moving out and trying to grab their artillery. That is... That is for sure. So let's see if we can... We, we got one regiment. The more surrenders we get, the better. And then move up over here. More surrenders, more surrenders. That's what we need. We need all of the surrenders. Oh, you guys didn't charge them. You guys need to charge them. I don't know if you guys can reach over there. But as I said, the, the more surrenders, the better. Because then... There's another surrender. Perfect. Uh, the enemy seems to seems to give up on the tactical map if you can if you can force them to surrender. So there's another artillery unit gone. I don't know if they'll make it because they're charging. So they'll probably run out of stamina before before anything happens. Let's see over here. I wonder. Oh, they're coming back toward us. That's perfect. Those guys surrendered. Perfect. Oh, we still have artillery firing. Cease, cease and desist. Cease and desist order, please. Let's move you guys up. Let's bring all our captured guys over here just in case something weird happens. They're captured. Okay, that is... That feels like a pretty decisive victory. They probably won't catch them. Um, And then over there... Oh, somebody else surrendered? No? I don't know. I don't know where that was. I wish you could click on the the thing like you can in Ultimate General Civil War, but oh well, feels like that's uh that's not going to happen one last volley. There we go. Whoa, we only lost 5. That's got to be a glitch, right? We lost more than 5 men. Yeah, we we definitely lost more than 5 men. That that feels like a feels like a glitch right there um especially because if we go look at their efficiency on some of their stuff let's see captured yeah one of their things killed 35 men so clearly clearly didn't only kill five men All right on the battle map we are charging looks like a lot of their guys have already surrendered we are trying to grab uh, this guy but looks like he might get away unfortunately so let's not chase him all the way up to falmouth and then something just unlocked. What was it? Chief Engineer. So I think that was our fur trading post, rum distillery, and tobacco shop. So let's go up here. And uh, I guess the next one to unlock is Qualified Engineers, which is going to the next level of those factories. I don't think there are rum and cigar and tobaccos in the game yet, but the fur definitely is. And that's a, that's a big money maker. So that's a good one to go and grab over here i feel really good about that we we took out two whole regiments i feel like once winter ends we are going to be dealing with some major invasions that is for sure i do have these ships down here there we go that's what i wanted oh boy okay i didn't notice this auto resolve going off um wow an 112 gun ship hms sphinx i don't know I don't know if we can necessarily take this battle, and I'm very frustrated with how my ships were not not um, boarding. But I think if we can destroy all the rest of the ships, I'll see what the auto resolve does and see if we can get to that 112 ship and uh, maybe try try to capture it. All right, guys, we have caught up with HMS Sphinx. Unfortunately, it's on fire, and I am firing grape shot, so it's 
a little a little obnoxious that it's on fire. I'm really trying to catch up to it. We have it we have it grappled with USS Indefatigable, but we really need, of course, USS Quicksilver. I'm amazed at full sails we can't get. I, I've really been trying for quite a while to catch up to it. And it is I guess just going full speed ahead. There we go. That's what we need. This should be a victory. Hopefully USS Indefatigable um, makes it. That's can we can we cut the ropes over here? Because over here we've uh, we're boarding. Quicksilver's boarding Sphinx. So that should be it. We have a crazy numerical advantage. I want to also mention that's a that's a problem we've had. Stop shooting the ship because I don't want it to sink. Okay. Um, in the Discord, we've talked about, like, one of the problems with uh, the, the ship balance in this game is that the British consistently roll out with a fleet that is very, very undermanned. So it makes it a lot easier to capture their ships. One of our lieutenants is wounded. It's amazing how much of a fight they're putting up. Usually when ships have, like, a 200-man advantage, they absolutely demolish the enemy, um, and that's not going that's not happening over here i mean we're winning of course but it's not it's not the absolute uh, absolute massacre that it usually is say if like they boarded our ship and uh, they only had like a 200 man advantage over there but i'm i'm really happy that's a 112 gun ship hms sphinx so uh i think we'll probably name it like uss america or something like that uss Constitution. Wow, this is taking forever. Come on, speed things up. I really wanted to show you that uh, this, show you guys this before, before we ended the episode because I feel like grabbing a hundred twelve gun ship is pretty important, and the the battle at Portsmouth is is not very exciting. Uh, hopefully soon we'll have some really big, cool battles that are not just them trying to attack Portsmouth over and over and over again. So that should clear out a lot of their stuff over here. We could we could go and try to take out this last little tiny ship um, over here and then get back to New Haven. And I think that's what we'll do. Our officers are going to tank again. And I have to be careful about that because as soon as the British start invading, I'm also going to need, need some troops. And I would like to take Burlington and Fort St. John's. Not that they're really good, but the problem is if you look at the colony management that I have a 50% reduction for New York for not having Fort St. John's and Fort Burlington, and that's ruining my factory points. Um, I don't quite understand why it's like 2.2 factory points or whatever. I am creating factories and I'm also creating the blacksmith shops, um, so we'll have to figure that out. I, I really want to grab this ship over here we're up to 93 reputation too which that gives us um that would be that would be 25 rep on the dragoons let's do that because we need to start do um need to start producing their guns so i i feel like let's let's go take care of this whatever that ship is over there we have our 112 gun hms sphinx um and then we can go back to harbor, and now we've got a first rate, a third rate, these two fourth rates. Actually, I think a lot of these are fourth rates or fifth rates. I'm not. What is a uh, what is New York fifth rate? And then this is a Razid. So these are these are the fourth rates, and the difference between these two ships and the fifth rates is crazy because Razid ships, from what I understand, are basically third rates that they. Kind of cut down and chop down to to make them fourth rate ships um so we can create dragoons now looks like that ship might be trying to get away that's before we forget about the dragoons that's um i don't want grenadiers so i think we'll go down over here to grab skirmishers and then i just want to show you that start production of the what is it it's the is it the short brown best 69 Yes, it is the short brown best 69. That is the weapon 
for the dragoons and i don't want to go too crazy but i do want um let's see we're producing lots of virginia 76s at the moment i think something like that that would be six per day uh maybe maybe nine per day and then we'll go down to 17 per day there i would really like that to be a little bit more even ah we need more factories I do have a lot of money, so that that is an option there. I I could I could start actually, our our six pound field guns are back to a really good spot, so that's let's bump that down, and I think this would be this would be good. I could bump this back up, and maybe we will. And for those of you that are wondering, I do have intelligence on really high. The British are just massacring me with sabotage events, and it's not it's not fun. But during winter. Um, we because we're doing so well with our ships, we can afford it because you see we've got a bunch of ships uh still still over here that we can sell. What is USS Director? It has durability seventy five hundred, so I'm not sure what that ship is. But let's sell let's sell whatever that ship is, and then USS Director. Uh, well, I we don't need to sell another ship right now. We also have tons of six pound cannons. That we can we can use over here too so really this is we're kind of to the point where showing off what the navy can do is pretty crazy oh what is uh that's not what i wanted where'd my fleet go some reason one of my ships broke off so we're going to send it back to port because i don't feel i don't feel good about that i don't know why it broke off maybe eight is the the largest size of a fleet i do want to to kill that but I'll probably do that off camera. So that'll be it for today's episode. Let me know what you think. Let me know what we should start doing. Oh, five gun. Oh boy. Okay. Well, um, we'll see how that goes. This this will be this will be off camera because I don't want to waste your guys' time anymore. Let me know what you guys think about this episode about grabbing that hundred twelve gun ship. I'm a little bit worried here because we're lacking crew over here and we're a little bit damaged but hopefully that auto resolve works really well in our favor um no point in trying to capture that 68 gunship because we have no crew left on our ship so that is it for today's episode please like comment subscribe all of that youtube jazz likes really help get the videos out there to the masses and the comments are just they they make me feel really good i like reading comments i like i like engaging with you all i really love when you guys comment on the videos so I can't say enough thank yous to the people that do hit that like button and do who uh and those of you that do leave a comment. I really, really, really appreciate it. So that is it for today. As always, guys, until next time.